Paul Burke's calling the Israel ministry. A couple of years later, we had the, uh, the rice riots, and a year later, we had the coach. There's a pattern there. Okay, next I'm going to bring on my brother, uh, Ross Nguyen, Dunbar. Um, the Tourism Association of Liberia, uh, to just run it down for us about the Tourism Association and the Tourism Association. I'd like to thank this group of Bob Mwani for bringing this tour group here. Okay, so we want to give you a nice little thank you for coming to Liberia. Okay, we appreciate you. You have no idea what you've done for us, the, the history you made, and what we were going to do to start it, what you contributed. It wasn't all both roads, we're going to iron out all the uh, things. I'm going to do all my analytics, you know, and I'm going to say we did this wrong, we did wrong, and next year we're going to get it right. We've got it fine too. Okay? So it's a learning curve. It's the first ever tour, a major tour from, from the, on this side, commercial side to Liberia. So with this, my good brother, the uh, captain of the Black African Infrastructure Organization in Liberia, Mr. Ross Nguyen Dunbar. Thank you, Mr. McCullough. And thank you to the African, uh, Af uh, Africa for the Africans Tour and Investment Group. Thank all of you that came on the tour. It's really a big deal. Uh, I would have loved to have, we all would have loved to have had the mayor here. He couldn't make it. Um, I just want to apologize on his behalf. He's got a very busy schedule. He should have been here. Um, but we all will say thank you to you guys. It's actually a very big deal. You might think, oh, I just came on vacation. No, you did not just come on vacation. Liberia, when you look at our, our history, okay, um, first of all, I left Liberia at the age of about seven years old. I came back to Liberia for the first time in 14, maybe 15 years at around 2001. I was much younger. But I learned something. Uh, the connection I have to this place first, all right, and the potential that it has as a world um, member, okay, or as a member of the World Committee of Nations. Um, when you look at the context in which Liberia was deliberately sabotaged, and you see what your contribution, even just coming on tour to this place, does you'll realize it's a very big deal. For example, for a long time with our uncivil war for almost 14 years, and then when you Google Liberia, especially after Ebola had hit, tourism was picking up and all of a sudden we were like, okay, the war's behind us. And then the next thing you know is Ebola. And it's like, oh, now it's not the war, it's Ebola. So as soon as you Google anything on Liberia's negative news, so it was bad. But with groups like your, your group coming to Liberia, it's really a big deal. You begin to change the narrative, all right? So that the rest of the world would see and know that Liberia is still that country that's a world human rights heritage nation, okay? When a whole group of people were being marginalized all across the globe, just for the color of their skin, Liberia was that safe haven, that one country on the face of the earth that became the first Pan-African Republic in Africa. So it's really a very big deal. And then to see that that same country would not have its people from all across the world, uh, our, our intercontinental constituency, not be able to meet back at home in the first nation that we built has been one of the saddest things that happened to our people around the world, period. And it was just kept on a hush, hush, quiet, quiet. A lot of people didn't know that this Liberia holds a special place in all our hearts, you know? It's one of the first countries that's founded for and by people of African descent, okay? Taking um, lessons from Haiti, all right? And Liberia has the added advantage of being founded on the continent of Africa, all right? So I said all that to say thank you. It's very important your presence in Liberia and we're not taking it lightly. Uh, also, with opportunity, uh, regards to opportunity for investment, there's plenty of opportunity in anything from technology to a health sector, to education, to agriculture, to tourism itself as an industry, okay? It encompasses all the sectors and the sub-sectors of the economy. 
from sports tourism to agri-tourism, even medical tourism, even faith-based tourism, where people just want to come and have revivals, all right? Voluntourism, where people want to travel across the globe just to volunteer to do what we call community service. Uh, he was just talking about the grassroots movement and community development. We want to see more of this happening in Liberia. So what you have done is you've taken the first step. And the single mile we all know begins with a thousand miles begin with a single step. So you guys have actually laid the foundation. It's a big deal. Other groups have been coming, but your group is specifically talking about not just tours, but investment. So you've already differentiated your product, and it's, it's, it's a big deal. So we say thank you again, and I'll use this term now to give you kind of a summary of the tourism um, undertakings in Liberia. We've been struggling a lot with it. Um, we have not or had not had a national policy on tourism for a long time. In the last two, three years, we've been able to draft such a policy. It's currently gone through the legislature. We're only waiting on the president to sign the bill into law, and tourism will begin to be properly regulated in Liberia. Okay, so that's ongoing. Anybody who needs a copy of the bill can let Bomani know. Um, he has copies of the bill if anybody wants to see the bill. Uh, there's also what we call the Liberia Tourism Marketing and Branding Strategy that we have developed to promote the country internationally. A copy of that, that strategy is also with Bomani. If anybody in the group needs it, he can get it to you. All right, because it gives you a vision of the future of Liberia with emphasis on tourism. All right. Uh, I, I, I haven't said that. We also have a master's plan that for tourism development, which is the overview, the outlook, if you want that too. Um, I think Brother Bamani should have it. If he doesn't, I'll send it to him, but anybody else can access it. It's important that you have access to all this material because after you've digested it, it gives you a clearer picture of the future and what the potentials are. And then you can look within that to see what your particular niche is and how you would like to relate to Liberia as a country and its people as a whole, okay? And Liberia is the country in Africa that has had, like I said, that Pan-African legacy and history. We are the only country in the world for a long time that allowed people of African descent to become citizens, um, irrespective of your place of birth, and to participate in public life, and most importantly, to own land legally. All right? Only African and people of African descent are allowed to own land in Liberia. No one else. And that, that, that's a true testament to our pan-African nationalism. All right? Especially when you consider the context of the era in which Liberia was founded and what the prevailing circumstances were against black people. All right? So the, our ancestors protected us. They protected our interests long term. Okay? With longevity in mind. So, and I don't think they did that for only four point something or five million people. I think they did that for all of our intercontinental Pan-African constituency. So it's important that we come together like this and, and continue to work together. So thank you guys for coming. God bless. Thank you. So uh, with this, uh